What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So um, just really quickly, I wanna thank you guys. I cannot thank my subscribers enough. You guys are joining me on this journey and I really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you. You're welcome. I wanted to talk to you guys about settling. So I did another video about, you know, just people and the stress of, you know, from changing from being a, wanting to be a physician to being a PA and people saying that I was settling. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about what I would have been doing had I have been settling. So this is what this video is gonna be about, okay? Let's just define settling, all right? We'll, we'll go through and define settling for those of you who think being a PA is settling and then we can go on and talk about my experience with that. So it says accepting or agreeing to something that one would consider less than satisfactory. And that is exactly what I was gonna be doing. I applied to PA schools uh, and I got, there was one particular PA school that I applied to. I did not get into the school, but then I received an email from one of the people that were they were in the like interview or they were reviewing, no, they reviewed my application and they were like, you know what? I looked at your application and you would be a great fit for our medical laboratory science program. And I was like, what, what's that? First off, the, just the fact of me getting an email back from the school, I was like really shocked and surprised. So it intrigued me right away. I, I listened to what he was saying and he said that I would be like, it's a master's, degree, I would be either like a clinical chemist or a microbiologist or a hematologist. Um, there were four options that you can take. And in those four options, because you can also work as at a, like a blood bank, and in those four options, um, you have the option of doing two years or four years because you can do all four and get certified in all four of them, or you can just do two. And I was like, well, I still want to be a PA, so I guess doing two would be better because I'd be able to complete that in two years while I make myself more competitive by going through a year, getting that experience, then applying the next year. So I would have had to wait basically two years before getting to PA school and then another two years to complete PA school. So that's four years, uh, four years that I did not have. Like I talked to my husband about it. We talked about it at length and I was like, all right, you know, this sounds like a good opportunity, a good idea. They sweetened the pot even more. They offered me $15,000 per year to go to the school. I was ecstatic because I'm like, dang, you know, like here's a scholarship $15,000 just based on my grades like that's amazing definitely going to be a benefit I think I would only have needed maybe like another five to ten thousand to complete the program so it was that's like a weight lifted off my shoulder I didn't really have to worry about the money in that sense but I was still going to be settling because it's really not what I wanted to do I was always looking forth to all right, so I would do this and then how would I get into PA school? And what they stated to me, which made it even more of a better opportunity was the fact that a lot of the teachers that taught the medical laboratory science program also taught in the PA program. And so I would be familiar with them. I would automatically get an interview because I went to the school and it's just basically left up to me to make myself presentable and a great applicant. And I was like, well, I know definitely once they get to meet me, they're gonna love me. Do you know who I am? No, I, I can't say that I do. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. But I was gonna be settling, you guys. I didn't wanna be a medical laboratory sciences. And honestly, it's not a knock on that degree because um, we need them, you know, but that's not what I wanted to do. And I would have been just accepting or agreeing to something that was less than satisfactory for me. I would have been wasting time and money that I didn't have because I was already out of school for many years. So I would be out of school again, in a sense, from what I wanted to do, which is PA school for another two years. And that wasn't feasible. Who wants to do that? Who wants to just continue to get older while you wait on, you know, getting into PA school, especially in a career that you don't want to be in. That wasn't feasible for me. It was, it would have been literally a wasted degree because 
I would have gotten this master's just to get into PA school and I would have never used that master's. So I decided against that. I said no to that. I decided I am going to do everything that I need to do to make myself a better candidate. I took four courses in one month. It's not for everybody. Not everybody is capable of doing that or wants to do that and that's fine. Do what you can do and what you want to do. Do what you can do and what you want to do. I wanted to apply to PA schools that year. So I needed to take all four of those classes in that month along with two more courses that semester. I practically took a full semester of school, you guys, in a summer just so that I can be a great candidate for that following year. And it worked. I got into PA school. Had a had I have said yes to that medical laboratory science program, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys today in PA school about settling, about my experience in PA school because I would still be I'll be my in my sec, going into my second year of medical laboratory science and I would now be applying to PA school. So it really wouldn't have worked out. I would have been settling. My husband always talks about this quote. It is from Eric Thomas and it talks about passing on what is good to get to what's great. And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to pass on the things that look really, really good to get to something that is great. And my good thing was the medical laboratory science degree, but my great thing was PA school. I passed on that and I was able to get this blessing that God just plopped down in my lap of PA school and I am excited. So you guys, I'm telling you, do not settle. Whatever it is you want to do, if you want to be a PA, if you want to be um, an MD, an MP, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be an artist, if you want to be a chef, if you want to be an actor, whatever it is you want to do, do not settle. Go after your goal, go after your dreams and you will not regret it. Trust me. I don't regret not being in a medical laboratory scientist at all. Not one bit because I am doing exactly what I want to do with my life. Okay. So that is my little, little nugget of information for you guys today. Don't settle. Pass on what is good to get to what is great and you will be ecstatic and happy and you will not look back trust me so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you guys have a suggestion on a video that you would like to see go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and i'll be sure to get to it and um i will see you guys next week with some new content all right thank you guys i will see you next week love ya